Hey dudes, welcome back to The Mothership. Today we're going to do an install of the Bunk King Highway Bars on my Softail Street Bob. I already did a video on this once, a little more in depth on Tony's Lowrider S, uh, so I'll keep this a little bit more high level, but I'll show you all the things you need to do. It's a pretty simple install. Um, as far as tools we need, we need T45 Torx, uh, 516 Allen, and some Loctite. Um, yeah, let's get going guys. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the bolts out holding on the foot control on the primary side, two bolts here and here, using a T45 socket. Now we're gonna do the same on the exhaust side. There's two more bolts here, but then we also have to take off a bolt right here, which holds on your brake master. Um, we're going to be really just pulling it out slightly to get the, the frame of the highway bar underneath it. So we don't have to do anything too crazy, but we do have to take the bolt off here as well. All right, guys. So now that we got all the foot controls off on both sides, it's time to get this thing lined up. Basically, we're gonna get it lined up in there and I'm gonna put screwdrivers through each hole to get it so it sits kind of where I want it to be before we actually start to tighten the thing in. Uh, note that on my bike, there were three plastic plug caps that look something like, uh, uh, I don't know where I threw it away. Basically, what you're gonna do is you kind of gotta dig underneath them. I use a knife to try and get the side of it and just screw it out. Um, you're gonna need those because it's gonna, currently they're gonna raise it out too far to get your thing on it on your, uh, your highway peg on. And you're also gonna use them if you actually ever wanna attach anything else to your bike and that's on the, uh, on the frame using those pre-drilled and pre-tapped screw holes. Um, if you notice, I have a little wardrobe change here. You can go check out my other video I have here because um, I actually got one of the uh, screw heads completely stripped when I was trying to take it off and it was a huge nightmare. But uh, it's a whole different video. Point is we're ready to go now. So let's, uh, let's get this thing on the bike. It should be real simple now. simple just to give you an overview of what we did we took the controls off on each side um, using a t45 torx then we uh we put the crash bar in place used uh, i use like some allen keys to kind of line it up and then you just use the factory supply bolts and reassemble everything um this was a huge pain for me just because i got some i had some issues but uh it really should be a simple install and it looks great you know uh I, I'm not going to go, like I said in the beginning, too in-depth into this because I did a more in-depth video when we did on Tony's bike, but uh, I really do like it. I think it's a good good safety feature, maybe a good comfort feature, and it just overall looks cool on the bike. Um, check it out, guys. I'll drop a link to the, uh, to the product below. Uh, if you like this kind of content, if you like seeing stuff done with the Street Bob, a subscription would be fantastic, a like would be great, a, a comment would be cool, and uh, ride safe, dudes.